Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Um, time to talk about my favorite group, my favorite group of people in the whole wide world. What's up, everyone? Wow, I said that really weird. Jijiji G Men 101, hanging out with you on this Thursday night. Uh, a little chilly. A lot of stuff going on. I'm going to tell you some miscellaneous general information about what's been going on. Besides the fact that math exam I've been talking about for the past two weeks is in less than 12 hours. 9.20 tomorrow morning. So 9.20 for you guys on the East Coast. 6.20 for those in Cali. I want you to wake up and put your hands together and pray to God that I do something magical on that exam tomorrow. Anyways, um, more fun stuff. I was on Hardball with Chris Matthews today. I don't know if you guys watch MSNBC. But Chris Matthews was doing hardball, um, his college tour. It was live at Temple University today. You may have seen me jumping in the back a few times. Um, and then they would pan around and show the Temple cheerleaders, the band, and our mascot, Hooter. And you'd see me in there waving, wearing this exact same shirt. So go back, uh, check it out. If you have the whole episode taped, watch it. I'm there. Um, and I also met Robin Roberts today, um, being in the school communications. met Robin Roberts, the anchor of Good Morning America. Such a sweetheart. She is a doll. Um, anyways, watching Phillies Giants. Let's get to uh, some football. I haven't talked football in a while. Monday night, three days away, the Giants head down to Jail World and play the Dallas Cowshits, who I've been talking about. Who I've been talking about for quite some time now. And the Cowshits, all summer, could not keep their big mouths shut they could not do it they could not the, the cow the giants are a third place team the cow shits are gonna blow out blow out this entire division no one else has a chance giants no no giants suck redskins come on redskins eagles no cow shits we're up there at the top the cow shits are not only at the bottom of the NFC East, but they are very close to the bottom of the NFL right now. Given this, they're getting pretty close, but they're just making a bunch of stupid mistakes. The Giants lost against the Indianapolis Colts, and I'll be honest, we're not expecting to come up with huge numbers against the Indianapolis Colts, but then we lost to the Titans. Very stupid mistakes. And we have everyone on our backs. The Giants suck. The Giants ain't doing shit this year. And look where the cow shits are. In the friggin' basement. In the friggin' basement. And you guys have a very tough schedule, which I'm sorry, I looked at the schedule this afternoon and the majority of teams you are playing are better than you. Are better than you. The New York Giants are a better football team right now. So I'm going to tell you this, if the Dallas cow shits go out there and play their best game, and the New York Giants go out there and play their best game, the New York Giants are going to beat the Dallas Cowshits, and we're going to be 5-2, and two, probably battling it out with the Eagles for first place in the division, while the Cowshits will be digging their grave and burying themselves even deeper with a 1-5 and five record. A 1-5 and five record. But, no, no, no. Give, give, a, give some claps for the Cowshit fans. Are the cow shits, their owners, their players. It's not their fault. The penalties, the overly, overly extensive touchdown celebrations, which are not needed. No one cares that you're from Texas. No one cares. Maybe J Watt cares. But none of that stuff is your fault. That's the ref's fault. How dare they call that on a player? Of the Dallas Cowshits. How dare they? How dare they? How dare they, Jerry Jones? I know, right? Who who does the NFL and the referees, these hired referees, who do they think they are calling a penalty on your team? God. Now I know why you Dallas Cowboy fans come on here day after day making these 15... I'll give you guys credit. You guys are you're staying true. You're staying true. You're hanging around. But... These 15 minute videos, it's oh my god, it makes me all excited. I want to laugh. Just how, how dare? I mean, cowboy fans agree with me here. How dare the NFL 
call these penalties on you guys. Don't they know who you are? Don't they know you are the Dallas Cowshits who have won, who are going to win the Super Bowl this year, who have won the Super Bowl last year. You guys won the Super Bowl the two years before that. How dare they call a penalty on you? I mean, I'm going to be straightforward. There's a Giants fan, Giants fan. I'm sorry, the NFL's fixed. The NFL is fixed. They, how dare they call penalties? I mean, it used to be such a great league. I don't know what it's come down to. Calling fucking penalties and Dallas cow shits. How dare they? Anyways, um, if the Giants come out and play their best New York Giants football, I don't care if the cow shits play an awesome game. I don't care if they play a terrible game. If the Giants come out and play disciplined, awesome football on both ends of the ball, like we've been doing the past few weeks, we're going to win down in Dallas. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. So, if you think otherwise, please, voice your opinions. Voice your opinions, but I just, I'll repeat myself. If the New York Giants come out and play their best game, I don't care if Dallas has a horrible game, I don't care if Dallas plays like a bunch of fucking all-stars. If the Giants come out at Cowshit Stadium and play their best game, they will win. And we will be 5-2, and two, and the Cowshits will be one in five. And they already have the list ready. You can't see what's behind the computer screen of the Cowshit fans, but they have their list of excuses and different variables in the game that they can blame the loss on. That list is sitting right behind their computer. You just can't see it. It's there. It is there. But don't worry. I just want to put out a little warning. In the event that the cow shits in the next coming months actually start winning some games, you will see a mass amount of cow shit fans coming back. And there's another list on that side of the computer that's going to have reasons why they were not there to begin with. That's just the way it is. So, um,. Let's go Big Blue. Let's get a win this Monday night. I can't wait to hear Hank Williams sing the Monday night song. It's been so long when he incorporates the Giants into that. We need more Monday night games. I love those games. But Faith Hill's been nice, too. I enjoy seeing Faith Hill. Um, anyone catch that Jodie Foster impersonation of Faith Hill on uh, Saturday Night Live? That was hilarious. Anyways, um, let's go Giants. Let's get shit done on the baseball side. Let's go Yankees tomorrow and Saturday. Let's let's get a win. Let's win it down in Texas because no one's afraid of Texas's home field advantage. Come on, let's be honest here. Come on, Texas fans. No, you know no one's scared of the ballpark in Arlington or the investment bank park or whatever it's called today. No one's scared of playing there, especially the Yankees. Um, Cash of fans, look forward to seeing your crow Monday night, Tuesday morning, when have you. And um, like I said, like I said, Giants play their best. We are not losing. That's that. Um, and just a heads up, whether the Giants win or lose, I'm saying this right now, whether we win or lose, I will not get a video out Monday night, and that is a promise. The Giants may win 40 to nothing. We may lose 40 to nothing. I will not have a video out Monday night. May not even have one Tuesday. But I promise I will have a video out regardless of if we win or lose. And that is my promise to you. To you. Giants fans, Cowboy fans, and the rest of the TTC. All right. GG101, wish me luck on my math test tomorrow. I'd really appreciate it. Follow the Twitter below for fun and frolic. I will see you guys later. Make sure you look out for me on Hardball with Chris Matthews. Go on the website. Watch it. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend.